It's Roger Mud Fossil University. I'm going to show you exactly where fossil fuel comes from right here. This is a mud fossil bone. It has been bleached of all of its hydrocarbons except for one little spot right here in the center. Now, that spot right there, my friend, is the source of oil and hydrocarbons. That black spot right there. We're going to look at it in the microscope and you will see. Now, you notice all of these little pockets and little holes and little things like that. Guess what was in there before? Oil and gas. I'll show you. Alright, I'm looking at the surface here. Now, everyone here, whoops, let me fix this up. Alright, everyone here has had, heard the term fossil fuels. Well, guess what? This is what you're looking at right here. Anybody that knows mud fossils understands that that is the fabric of fascia. Those little black dots are the vein blood that has hardened. The black vein blood in the body is blue and the mud fossils is black. The reddish rusty looking stuff is blood. The red part of the blood does not harden up like the black part. Now, you see all these little holes all these little tiny holes and these vessels and everything and what it looks like here you're looking at it now well guess what was in all those little pockets oil and gas and bitumens and you're driving your car on what was inside this thing right now and I'll show you why I can say that with surety because the inside inside did not completely transition now this is what's called source rock if you look up at the petroleum industry and they drill for this and then they crack it and frack it and break it and and then they fracking means to crack to fracture these bones to bits where they will release their hydrocarbons and then they crack the bonds with with um, acids now you see down in these holes look that's red blood in there and th that is hydrocarbons. Now, let's see what happens when it tra doesn't transition yet. All right, the next shots we're going to be looking at is right there. All right, this is the coolest thing I have ever seen doing this this whole time. All right, this is the fractured rock that has all of its stuff sucked out of it that we have driven in our cars. You see it? All that was filled up with oil. And you say, ooh, Roger, how can you say that? Well, here's why I can say it. We're moving towards where the oil is. You say, ooh, look at that thing. What is that? Well, it's some oil. Ooh, how do you know that's oil? Because here is where it flowed from. Right here. That right there is where it flowed right out of. You see that? I'm going to come right back to the center. This is where the center of the bone is. And that right there is where the oil has stopped flowing. <laughs> you see that? The black oil is on the left. That's what they drill and try to pull out of these stones. That's what they want. And what will be left over is this with all these pockets and holes in it which we will start to see right here. It's starting to transition. And what does it do when it transitions? It starts to eat away at that stuff. And it gets sucked up through oil walls. And then it starts to turn into a lot of holes. You see all the crevices now? You see the holes starting? You see that? And then eventually it gets way out over here and you have holes everywhere because everything is sucked out of it. In this case it just, I don't know how it got out of here, it just sort of evaporated. More than likely, I don't think they were drilling for oil back when this came out. So that is what I just showed you here. There's nothing you can say about it. That is the oil. And that is the oil coming out of rocks that they drill for. And that is just loaded with oil there. And I had another one when I cut it open. Oil just came all over it and it had a sheen all over it. 
The bones are the real serious source of oil. And um, I, th I think that maybe they're understanding it, maybe they're not, but I understand it.